Congratulations. I know your goal is to win the Super Bowl, but can you at least put in perspective this journey and the accomplishment you feel coming here in the first year and taking this team all the way to the Super Bowl? Well, it's been a great journey thus far. And, um, you know, we put the work in and a lot of guys were um, just embraced everything that, you know, you know, really when Coach when Bia got here last year, you know, there was a lot of great things that were happening and a lot of great young players. And, um, you know, I just loved, you know, made the decision and, um, you know, love coming to work every day with this group of guys. And they worked really hard to get to this point. And um, it's a tough game. I've had a few tough games in a row. And um, the next one will be really tough too. But we know what we're playing for. And uh, we got two weeks to prepare. It's going to be a great opponent. And uh, be really exciting couple weeks for us. We'll go to Jenna Lane. Tom, some people said that you were taking one of the biggest professional risks of your career by coming to Tampa Bay, a team that hadn't been to the postseason in over a decade. Yet you guys are, you know, one of the last two teams standing. And um, just can you just put into words what it's meant to be able to defy all those critics and naysayers? Well, it's a, you know, it's this is the ultimate team sport. And, um, you know, we've had a lot of people work really hard over a course of a period of time to get to this point. So, um, you know, it's a uh, it's a tough journey to get here. So to go on the road and win, a, you know, another road playoff game is a, just a great achievement. And, uh, you know, now home Super Bowl for the first time in NFL history, I think, puts a lot of cool things in perspective. Anytime you're the first time doing something, uh, it's usually a pretty good thing. So now we just got to go. Uh, you know, have a great two weeks, prepare for whoever it is, and, you know, be ready to go. We'll go to Greg Allman. Um, you've talked about this team needing the defense and leading on the defense at times this season. How big did they step up in the fourth quarter to, to mitigate the turnovers to keep the Packers from doing more than they did? Yeah, they played incredible. I thought the defense was spectacular. And they've been that way, you know, all year. they got, you know, great front, great linebackers, play their butts off in the secondary um, some guys went down with injuries. Other guys stepped in. So it was an incredible effort by the defense. And what they did today was uh, was amazing against really an incredible offense. We'll go to Jim Trotter. Hey, Tom, I, I know a lot of folks want to focus on how you feel about getting to this moment. But I wonder if you could maybe put into perspective what you think this means for Bruce. After all these years, after stepping away from the game for a year, to, to lead a team to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm so happy for him. And um, absolutely, I mean, it's it's amazing. It's, I think for me and my experience, um, it's not, you know, for me, I don't think about what it means for me. I do think about what it means for everyone else. And um, it's an amazing achievement for BA. I'm so happy for him, the staff he put together, Coach Bowles, what Byron's done, um, what Keith's done. And, uh, you know, the whole coaching staff's put us in a great position to, for us to go out there and do our jobs well. And, um, you know, it's taken a lot of different people over the course of the season on offense, defense, special teams to come through. And, you know, that's why we're still playing. There's going to be two teams left playing. We're going to be one of them. And, um, again, just an incredible journey for all of us and just proud to be a part of it. We'll go to Scott Reynolds. Tom, congrats on the win. When you look at um, – at Bruce's decision, this is a guy whose motto is no risk it, no biscuit, to, to go for it on fourth and four rather than punt right before halftime. Speak to that and then your touchdown throw to Scotty Miller to really give you guys a big lead at halftime. Yeah, you know, I BA wants to, wanted to go for it. I liked the call and was, you know, I'm going to do whatever he asked me to do. And then, uh, you know, Byron dialed up a great play and we got behind the defense. We had a couple other opportunities too. So, um, you know, it's just a great job by Scotty running a great route, getting open and, I just try to lay it, lay it out there for him for him to, to go grab it. We have time for a few more. We're going to go over to Sarah Walsh. Hey, Tom, we often hear from you about the process and one game at a time and, and never looking ahead. But when you think about scripting out these like fairy tale endings, I'm curious as to if you ever allowed yourself this season when you came over to the box and, and knew the Super Bowl was at home, how often, if at all, did you ever allow yourself to envision this scenario that you're in now? You know, I think uh, it's hard to envision, you know, this is a, a goal, but at the same time, it's a it's a week-to-week -week league. So, you know, we're at seven and five, seven games ago, not feeling great, you know, felt like, you know, we needed to find our rhythm and played four great games down the stretch last quarter of the season. And then 
after that, it was just all bonus, and we just had to go play well. And we played well in Washington, uh, played well all the way around in, uh, in New Orleans against a great football team, and then came up here knowing that we needed to play great. And uh, the guys came through. Everyone stepped up to the challenge. And, um, again, just a great football's ultimate team sport. And uh, it takes everybody, and everybody plays a role. And uh, just so proud of this whole team. And, again, just blessed to be a part of it. All right, our last one's going to come from Ira Kaufman. Tom, um, what, what can you say about the pass protection uh, during the last three weeks in particular, starting with the, uh, with the, with the Washington team and, uh, and their front four? I think the last 19 weeks, the pass protection has been amazing. Um, big guys up front have set the tone for us all year. And, you know, Ryan Cap, when he was in there, Stinney came in, did a great job. Allie's done a great job. Donnie's played incredible. Big Tristan's done incredible. Joe Haig's come in. Um, so everybody who's been out there is is doing a great job. And, um, again, when they're playing good, it's, you know, we're great in the run game and, you know, really solid in the pass game. And, and uh, you know, we gotta need, we're going to need another great week of it.